Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking Caribbean with Christian. On today's episode, we're going to be making Caribbean chicken and potatoes. It's a really simple recipe that's super delicious. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Okay everyone, here are all of the ingredients that you're going to need. First, we're gonna start off with our chicken. Here we have six boneless chicken thighs and we're gonna season that chicken with white pepper, curry powder, and cumin powder. We're also going to slice up our onions and peppers and we're gonna put that on top of the chicken and we're also going to add rosemary. Moving on to our potatoes, we're using red skin potatoes. We're gonna cube those up and we're gonna add thyme, paprika, and garlic powder to our potatoes. We're also going to need two freezer bags. One freezer bag is gonna have your chicken and you're gonna add the seasonings in there and shake it up. And then the other bag is gonna have your cubed potatoes. You're gonna add the seasonings in there and shake it up as well. And then we're gonna lay it out on our cooking sheet and put it in the oven. You're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Is we're gonna cube our red skin potatoes. So I like to cut them into quarters. So this is about a good size for our potatoes. Okay, the next step, after chopping up the potatoes, you put them in your freezer bag. Now you're going to add some olive oil to the freezer bag, enough just to coat the potatoes. Right, we're gonna take that and shake it up like this. Make sure you got all the potatoes coated. Maybe add a little bit more if you think it needs a little bit more olive oil. And then we're gonna add our seasonings of thyme, um, paprika and garlic powder into our freezer bag. That's done, put that to the side. Next step is we're gonna slice up our whole bell pepper and about half an onion. If you want some more onion, you can chop up the whole onion. We're gonna start off with just half an onion and we're gonna chop up the whole bell pepper. next step is we're gonna work on our chicken. So we're gonna take our chicken thighs, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our potatoes and put it into our freezer bag. Here's our white pepper. All right our curry powder. And our cumin powder. Also, just as a reminder, when working with chicken, we don't want any cross-contamination. So we're gonna take all of our dishes that we're not using anymore, we're gonna put it in the sink and wash everything off. All right, now that we've 
seasoned our chicken and we've seasoned our potatoes. Now we're gonna add it onto our baking sheet. So what I've done here is I've put aluminum foil on both of our sheets. For the potatoes, we're gonna use like a long, flat kind of cookie sheet. And for the chicken, we're gonna use like a deeper dish. I've already sprayed the aluminum foil with um, nonstick spray. And now we just need to add everything into it. So let's start with our chicken first. Open up your bag of chicken. Go ahead, put that on there. Spread your chicken out around the sheet. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our onions and peppers on top of it. So I'm gonna start with the onions. Just sprinkle the onions all over. We're gonna do the same with the peppers. Okay, spread that out evenly. And then last step is we're gonna add our rosemary in here. And I just like to scatter it around. You can also kind of break off some of the leaves and sprinkle them on individually. But I like to just spread around the different stems. Okay. Just like that. Next, we're gonna move on to our potatoes. We're gonna take the potatoes and spread it out all over our baking sheet, just like this. And the next step is we're gonna put everything in the oven. You wanna leave everything uncovered as well, and they're just gonna roast just like this. We're gonna let that sit in our oven for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna check up on it. So 30 minutes has passed, so we're gonna open up our oven and take a look at our chicken and potatoes. I have a thermometer here, an electric thermometer, so we want our chicken to be at least 165 degrees. So let's check our chicken, stick it right in the middle, see how hot it is. Let's see what we got here. Wonderful, that's more than ready. That's great, okay. So the chicken's definitely done. Our potatoes are nice and roasted, so we'll take everything out. All right, now everything's all finished and beautifully roasted, and now we're ready to plate all of our food. There you have it. A beautifully roasted plate of Caribbean chicken and potatoes. This is a really delicious and really, really simple recipe. Try it out. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you like what you see and stay tuned for more delicious Caribbean videos.